Lancers, and welcome to this week's edition of Lancer News. I'm Joseph. And I'm Lee. Now to your announcements. Monday, March 11th, will be an all-school mass at St. Rose. The sixth grade class will be putting it on at 9.15. Make sure to wear your church dress uniforms. The last two weeks have been busy here at St. Rose. And here's a wrap-up of the this week. On Monday, the school was decked in green in honor of Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham. The upper grades were paired up with all good classes to read with a buddy. Then, on Tuesday, students wore crazy socks and shoes, and they also decorated original book covers in a school-wide contest. On Wednesday, St. Rose became Wild Animal Park, as students and staff dressed in animal print or animal shirts to go with the theme, Where the Wild Things Are. Then, on Thursday, it was Crazy Hair and Hat Day. And Friday, students dressed up as their favorite book character. As part of Literacy Week, students invited their loved ones onto campus to share in our lunch with a loved one on the field. Families got to enjoy a beautiful day and also got to check out a book fair that was going on all week in the library. Thank you to Mrs. Escobar and the parents for putting on such a wonderful book fair. A big congrats to our St. Rose Academic Decathlon team. They competed against schools throughout the county at St. Augustine High School. Charlotte Escobar placed sixth in the county for fine arts, and Isaiah Villafania placed fourth for religion. Congratulations to all of our Atlanta decathletes and to our team of coaches, led by Miss Staley. Now here are other stories making headlines. With all the recent rain and snow, California has gotten widespread drought and unexpected in the state for the next two years. That's according to Aki Weather Forecast. It's all thanks to El Nino, which has directed storms providing the state with a lot of rain and refilled reservoirs. As of now, six of the state's most important reservoirs set at or are above the historical average water levels. And that rain has been good for the Carlsbad flower fields, which are back open. Make sure to bring your cameras because there will be photo ops all over the grounds. Plenty of family fun activities, including a tractor ride, maze, and flower garden. For the adults, live music, yoga, and wine tastings. Mark your calendars because kids will be free on March 23rd. The flower fields are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now until Mother's Day. Visitors need to buy tickets online. COVID-19 isolation guidelines are changing again. New guidelines the CDC issued today say people who test positive for COVID no longer have to isolate for at least five days. The agency says people should stay home until they've been fever-free without medication for at least 24 hours, and symptoms are improving, but it does recommend wearing a mask and limiting close contact with others for the next five days. The CDC says it's updating guidelines so they're more in line with advice for other respiratory infections like flu and RSV. The Lady Lancers volleyball season has ended for the varsity teams and the JV team. The blue team finished their season with an amazing 9-0 record, while the white team finished with a 6-2 record. Both teams finished with a spectacular season. The JV team also finished their season going 7-1. St. Rose dominated volleyball all, all the way around. Round of applause, ladies. The varsity and JV basketball teams begin the Saints tournament this weekend in hopes of a county championship. Varsity plays on Saturday against St. Martin at 5.30 p.m. and JV plays Good Shepherd at 8.30 a.m. Good luck, Lancers. In honor of National Restaurant Week, Lee, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is In-N-Out. What's yours? I'd probably say La Bella's Pizza. I like the barbecue pizza there. Well, thank you for watching this edition of Lancer News. See you next time.